This is a quick video that shows you how you can update lots of products at once using the Bright Pearl screens. There's a separate video that shows you how you can do this by uploading a spreadsheet. So from the Bright Pearl product list, which you get to from products, list products, you can filter to show just the products you want. Once you've got the products you want on screen, select all the products on the left hand side and then from this menu here, choose what you want to batch update. You can't batch update everything however, it's only the items you can see in the menu here. So we could update product type if we wanted to. We could set the supplier for these products. If you wanted to append this supplier, because products can have multiple suppliers, then you choose no, whereas if you want to replace the old suppliers, choose yes. You can set the brand for the products. You can set the reorder threshold which is sometimes called the minimum stock level, and each of your separate warehouses will have a different value for the minimum stock level. And the minimum stock level is used for the low stock report. You can set the reorder quantity, again for each of your warehouses, and this is the quantity that the system automatically plans to buy when you're using the purchase order from the low stock report. You can set to manage stock, yes or no, so if you've imported a load of products and forgot to set yes on the import file, you can set them all to manage stock here. However, if you have stock transactions for a product, you can't set the product to be not stock tracked. You can set seasons for the product, and you can choose multiple seasons by holding control down. And then finally, you can move or copy a product to any of your categories. And that takes us to the end of the video where we see how to batch update products.